but I also picked up I like that sticker Dorsey I need some more stickers that look like that all right good morning we're in downtown Louisville um, today's video is going to be sponsored by Dorsey trailer I own one good product um, while I was over at the factory a couple days ago I picked up another box so I'm gonna put another toolbox on the trailer here uh, if you have any questions or uh, you want to check out Dorsey trailer there's a link down in the description so my trailer came with two boxes so let's pass the driver's side and passenger side and I've decided to go ahead and put this second box on the passenger side I'm gonna mount it right there box is 60 inches long by 24 inches wide so, um, uh, and then we got the brackets real simple put the brackets on to just big old chunks of stock aluminum and we got some nuts and bolts a little back black backer plate and then that so as you can see these are mounted like this right here so, so they got these mounted like that and we're gonna do the exact same thing now the only difference is they had to mount them on this side of the C channel which is the open side uh, we're gonna mount it on the closed side um, because it's easier but they mounted on the they had to mount it on the back side see right here what I'm talking about open side back side to give enough room right there so but we're gonna come over here and we're gonna mount on this side right here we're gonna mount this side and then over 60 inches which should be somewhere about right there I do have my tape measure so we won't mess up but uh, that's what we're gonna do um this box is not that heavy it's uh, I can pick it up myself um what i'm going to do is get a milk crate or maybe two milk crates that i have prop it up get it lined up and uh, we'll go from there i just want to make sure i get it straight i don't want to sit crooked or anything i want it to look as close to that one as possible so we're going to keep the same height from the ground to the bottom of the box now with the arch of the trailer as you can see the arch of the trailer right there so one end is going to be a little bit lower than the other end. All right, let me get set up. We'll get started. And uh, I'm just going to give you a little updates as we go along. Okay, I got it uh, kind of up there just to kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. I know it looks a little rough, but I got some milk crates and some 4 by 4s to kind of give me the right height. I want it just a little bit higher than that one. So that if I have to pop over a curb or something, it's not too low. But then again, I don't want it so high that I'll have a problem getting the strap in there and, and working the winch bar. So I want to leave enough room so if I get a winch right there. But uh, I think, let's step back just a little bit. We'll get down low. I think that'll look pretty good right there. And that's just a matter of uh, bolting on the brackets but yeah okay we started uh, drilling the holes so I got the hole right there and then the bracket and I got a bolt to there now these holes aren't perfect right here so I just took I don't know if I showed you guys this thing or not but I bought this a half inch impact from DeWalt uh, my brother-in-law Steve had bought me some DeWalt tools. There's a little drill I was using and it went right through that aluminum um, I like those uh, DeWalt so much. <laughs> I went and bought that big half inch and it'll take lug nuts off too I tried that. I've already tried that uh, So anyway um, This bracket's gonna go right here and once we get one bracket on we can kind of uh, maneuver it and uh, line up all the holes for the other brackets but uh, I just want to get that one corner perfect and then from there we should be able to do pretty good but that's where we're at. all right we're making some progress here so 
I got this bracket bolted up. I've uh, I put the box up, I lined it up, I measured everything. I want to make sure. Hang on a second. I want to make sure I leave just a little bit of a gap back here. I don't want it touching the frame rail because it is going to flex up and down the trailer. I mean, it's not going to flex a lot, but a little bit. And over time, that'll start to rub. So I leave just a little bit of gap. And that's what they did from the factory on these here. There's just a little bit of a gap back there. So it's not touching, actually touching the frame. So, uh, but I drilled this hole. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, and put this one on. Now, like I said, these holes right here aren't quite big enough, but uh, the big old DeWalt will put them right through. And so you can see this is the bolt here. And then this piece is going to have to go in there. So probably see how it kind of doesn't quite line up. So what I'm going to do is I'll take another bolt and run it through there or see if I can hold one bolt. Anyway, I'll get it in there. And then we'll get that kind of snug and then we'll go ahead and line up the other brackets on this the back bracket back there and then uh, move on to the front so uh, it's coming along okay making some good progress so we got this side already bolted up around the top and I got a couple bolts there I wanted to show you this real quick um, remember I was saying I was having problems getting the bolt because that hole I think they cut it with a torch. Hang on a second. Let me get this bolt. So I was having problems getting the bolt down through there. Well, I bought that drill bit yesterday at Home Depot. And that goes in there. And I'll tell you, that drill bit and that DeWalt drill will uh, eat right through that. Hang on one second. There we go. It just takes a little bit to, uh, to get it. Now that bolt goes... Uh, Right through there knock these spurs off but uh yeah it's uh it's doing good it's doing pretty good i'm just taking my time doing it right so talk to a bit all right we uh got one side done and uh it's looking pretty good so we got this side all bolted down you can see how the bolt there and then up in there how it's bolted up in there. We've got plenty of room for the winch. So the winch goes by, so we've got plenty of room for the winch. We've got a little gap right there, so it's not touching the frame rails. And then on the inside here, so you can see how it's secured on the inside there. So it turned out pretty good. So the next side is that side over there. Oh. And it's not going to be too hard so same thing over here we're going to take a bracket and it's going to go from here up to this cross member right here right there so that's the plan all right we got it all mounted up it uh it was actually easier than i thought it was going to be i really took my time just to kind of make sure i got everything straight and measured but uh this is what it looks like mounted like that I had made a comment when we were walking around the factory that uh, I like the way they mount the boxes it's a very simple mount it's just some stock aluminum uh, some of the other guys have a, a real fancy bracket but these brackets if something should happen would be uh, real easy to replace because you can pretty much get stock aluminum anywhere but uh, I do like it now, hang on, I got planes flying overhead. Uh, so what am I gonna put in this box? I'm gonna put my coil racks, which I got in here, which I have a whole lot of now. Um, I'm gonna try to carry, I try to carry about six sets of coil racks. So that would be a total of 12 coil racks. Um, so I'm gonna put those in there. I'm going to get my uh, big edge protectors, my big plastic edge protectors, put those in there. That way I don't have to keep, remember, I think I showed you, I had them up under the trailer. I want to try to make things as easy as possible. Now, 
I don't know if I can get both tarps in there. Both of my big eight foot tarps will walk over here. So these, these are my eight foot tarps right here. Right here. And I actually do not have a problem with this one riding right here. It does pretty good. Um, what I do want to do though is if I get, if I do put any tarps in, or I am going to put a tarp in there, I'm going to put the tarp that's on this side right here. And uh, that way this step will be, that way I can use that step like it should without stepping on that tarp and risking a chance of uh, falling. So that's what I'm going to do. Put that tarp in there, get those big plastic edge protectors, put them in there, uh, coil racks, put them in there. You know my boxes, I had to get the crate so I kind of made a mess over here my boxes are kind of maxed out um over time it just i just i had to eliminate and figure out exactly what i needed if you end up carrying too much stuff they turn it like a pack rat you know and you don't use it that often all right so i got uh a total of six sets of coil racks i got five down here plus i got one in the coil now, a little trick that I used to do, or I do, I learned a while back, let me show you here, is take a coil rack, turn sideways, and then that way, um, the stuff that's in here won't slide up against the, uh, the handle. I do the same thing on the other two boxes too, and it uh, keeps the uh, handles from getting banged up. What happens is stuff starts moving around in there, and it uh, goes up against that handle. I have had it happen. I had to pry, pry the door open. I'm a little out of breath. I took that big tarp. I was lazy, that's the one that was on the step. I drove the little truck around, put it on the tailgate, <laughs> drove back over here. But I unrolled it and rolled it back up so I could get it to roll a little bit tighter. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, get these edge protectors. And like I said, see there, I think even, even without the coil racks in there, I'd be hard pressed to get that other tarp in there. So, uh, like I said, I'm okay with it over there. It doesn't bother me. It's not in my way. I have to move it every now and then, check the oil in the generator, but, uh, I can definitely deal with it over there. Uh, I just wanted to get the stuff from underneath the trailer so I don't have to crawl up under there, especially in the winter time when the weather's bad. So, all right, um, let me get those plastic edge protectors in there, uh, see how that looks, and uh, check back in with you. Okay, I think uh, we're almost done, or we're almost done with these boxes. I'm going to give you guys one quick tour of how much stuff I got, and then we'll call it quits for today. I still have more stuff to do. I got Dorsey mud flaps to put on, the little generator's leaking oil again, so I still got some more stuff to do. But, uh, so this is what this box looks like now. So I got, uh, that's my, one of my eight foot drops. And I remember I got two of them. The other one's up on the generator. One of my eight foot drops, padding, uh, coil racks. I'm gonna have a total of six sets because there's a set underneath that coil. And all my big plastic edge protectors. All that stuff in there, I don't use very often. Big edge protectors, uh, you know, I use for shingles, insulation, stuff like that. I use my little tiny edge protectors a lot on the steel. So I use those actually a little bit more than the big ones. This box over here, um, mainly got padding. Underneath those um, tarps is my rubber matting for the coils. So I got enough rubber matting for six coils. Um, smoke tarp um another little that, that's a little tiny tarp right there padding so uh and then when that tarp when we roll up the blue tarp there it's going to go in there so so the, i would say that box right there because my four foot tarps are in there that box probably i use second most and then on the over here this is the box i use the most and that's why it's on the driver's side and so this is the equipment that I use the most, I guess I should say. So, you know, I carry two sets of straps. 
So these are long straps. Those are full 30 foot straps. These are short straps. These are 20 foot straps. I cut 10 feet off. Got a box of bungees right there. And then in this box here, right here, I got about, uh, I think I got six or eight two inch straps. Uh, there's a couple long straps in there. Let's put this right here. This box here is just kind of a catch all. My extension cords in there that I use to plug into the truck, which uh, I will probably do when I'm done cleaning this up. I'm gonna go to the other side and uh, park in for electricity. I spent last night on this lot because I knew I was gonna do this today. So over here, so I took, I used to keep a lot of that padding over here and I was always having to take that padding out in order to get to this stuff here. And those are my four inch ratchets and my pocket winches little pieces of carpet I tell you you can't beat having little pieces of carpet so that so this box right here I do use the most and then we'll come over here and up here so I got my chains so somebody asked I got five sixteenths chains I got six five sixteenths chains I usually use these chains when just like uh, machinery or Humvees, vehicles, something like that. I carry six 3H chains. I use those on heavy stuff, coils, big coils, stuff like that. So, uh, and then a little bit of extra. Got some more straps in here. Somebody sent me some straps a while back. I still got those. I actually, where'd it go? There it is. This is one of my short straps that, uh, I tore it up, I split, I caught it on something and I split the center of it. So I'm gonna throw this strap away, but I'll get that hook off there. I think Mercer gives you a dollar or two dollars for that hook, for that credit for the hook when you buy their straps. So, um, and I will go ahead and I'll sacrifice one of these for a short strap. Got more two inch straps in there as you can see. I got way too much junk in here. Oh, I try to cut it down, but it just keeps getting worse. There's another box of bungees in there. Some more tennis shoes. This thing here, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this thing. I bought this thing a while back. This is to put the big edge protectors on. Remember I kind of made up a little thing? I rigged up something. Well, I bought the real thing because I was doing insulation at a place and they didn't have any things and I was really out of luck. So uh, I went ahead and bought this thing here with like $54. So anyway, you put the little edge protector on there and you would put it up there and not that. So I bought that little thing, been dragging that around. Um, so now I got my step back so I can safely maneuver from the ground to the trailer, to my step. I used to have to that I would step on the little edge right there where the tarp was so now that it, the tarps out there a lot more safer tools and more tools i probably have too many tools but uh, uh i bought this ladder right here because it's a little bit taller um this ladder here will extend out for like real tall loads but this ladder here helps for, even for like the coil i can step up and uh get the binder on there so anyway that's it all right, let's call it quits. It's hot out here. As you can see, I'm sweating now. And uh, it's almost lunchtime, and I'm a little hungry. So uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.